Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again, Men's Graphics here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple new month greeting for a travel agency. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. So guys, for this product, I'm using a 2000 by 2000 pixel size, a trailer resolution and an RGB color mode. And first things first guys, I'm going to be typing in the test that I'll be using for this project. And that'll just be the month of May. So once I'm done typing, I'm going to select the test and then I'm going to change the font to Morganite. And then for the typeface I'll be using, I'll be using Morganite Bold. Then I'll change my characters to all caps by hitting this icon right here in the character panel and adjust the tracking. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'll select this icon here and then I'll make sure it's aligned by selecting Ctrl A and using the alignment options. And then I'll use my transform controls to expand this. And then I'll drag it down a little bit and I'm going to duplicate this test. And for the second test, I'll be using welcome to. And that's to depict welcome to me. So for this, I'll be using a loose tracking. So I use 200 for the tracking value and then I'll reduce the font size. Then I'll use my transform controls to adjust the test. And then I'll drag it to the top. Control A. And then I'll make sure it's aligned perfectly. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to head over to my layers panel and I'm going to select these two layers. And I'm going to reduce it using my transform controls. And then I'm going to be typing in a sub note. So for this sub note, I'll be typing in Happy New Month from us at Fortune Travels and Tours. And for the font that I'll be using for this footnote, I'll be using Railway. So once I'm done with typing, I will be adjusting the test. I'll be adjusting the tracking values to minus 70. And then I'll adjust the leading value to 24. Okay, so I'll be uh, creating a difference uh, in color for the fortune travels and tours. I'll be using black, then white for the happy new month from us at. I'll be using blue. So I head over to my layers panel and then I'll select these two layers and then I'll group them and I'll head over to my um, blending options. And then I'll head over to Gradient Overlay. So I have a default um, gradient selected already. So once I'm done with this, I'll just hit OK. And then I'll select uh, the test layer. And then move it a little bit below me. Okay, then I'm going to be changing the color of Happy New Month from us at um, with a color from the gradient. So I'll be making a selection of the color from the gradient. And then I'm going to be using my transform controls to reduce this. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, all the layers and I'm going to be converting them to a smart object. So I just need to right click and convert to smart object. So once it's done with that, I'll select the smart object. And then for this smart object, I'll be increasing the canvas size to um, 5,000 uh, by 5,000. Then I'll hit OK. So then I'll head over to my other window. Once I'm done saving this. And then I'll hit Ctrl T on my keyboard and head over to this WAP icon right here. So for the WAP, I'll be changing it to Wave. And then I'll be setting the bend to 10%. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing next, guys, is that I'm going to align this um, to the center again. And then I'll head over to File, Place Embedded. And then I'll be placing this image of an aeroplane. So do well to remember guys that all the files that I'm using for this project, um, I'll be dropping the link which you can use to access these files um, in the description below. So head over to the description to find the link which you can use to access all these files. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a layer max on the image layer. That's the image of the aeroplane. And then I'll make a selection of this my smart object that has the test by hitting control selecting the smart object the layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brush tool. And to achieve this, I have to make sure that my foreground color is set to black. And before you achieve this, guys, make sure that you select your layer mask to avoid any mistake that uh, you'll be making on this design. So make sure that you select your layer mask. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my brush on this area that has the Y. So what I'm doing is actually I'm hiding the Part of this aeroplane that is um, intersecting the Y using my brush too. So that's what I'm trying to achieve using this layer mask. So I'll be zooming this for you guys to take note of. As you can see, the Y is um, directly above the aeroplane, whereby the M and the E are actually behind the aeroplane. So this is what I wanted to achieve using the layer mask. And so for the next thing in this design, I'll be adding um the components of the background so i'll be adding this image of a blue sky okay i'll expand this to fit into the workspace and then i'll be adding um the second background which will just be an image of uh, different city landmarks I'll bring it below this layer. And then I'll drag it down. So I'll be using my transform controls to expand this. Okay. So once I'm done with that, I'll just hit enter on my keyboard and then I'll take this above the layer and then I'll rasterize this and I'll be using my eraser to remove uh, the parts that I don't want in this um, background because I noticed that I wanted it to be below the sky or below the image of the sky so I'll just be using my eraser tool to clear off uh, the white part of the background because this is not actually an P, uh, it's not actually a PNG image. So I'll just be using this to clear some stuff um, on this design. So basically, guys, we are actually done with this design. We're actually done with um, what I wanted to show you guys, uh, because I wanted to show you guys how to create um, a simple new moon greeting for a travel agency. So with this, you can be able to achieve this um, easily and um, without so much stress. So this is actually quite easy if you get to practice these guys.
So guys, thank you guys for being part of this tutorial. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Do well to like, do well to comment, and do well to subscribe. And with all that said and done, Mess Graphics out. See you in my next video, guys. Peace.